What happens when a messenger from another stellar system speeds through our cosmic backyard and decides to pass relatively close to Earth? That is what we are about to witness with 3i Atlas, an interstellar comet that does not belong to our solar system and is making a one-time visit. Unlike ordinary comets trapped in elliptical orbits that repeat after decades, thousands, or even millions of years, this traveler follows a hyperbolic path. In other words, it crosses the solar neighborhood only once and then heads back into interstellar space with no return date. Even so, its passage obeys the same laws that govern any comet. To understand why certain moments in this journey are so noteworthy, it is worth recalling what perihelion is. Perihelion is the point in an orbit where the object is closest to the Sun. For comets, this is the most intense stretch of the trip. Radiation heats the icy nucleus, the ice sublimates, and gases and dust are released. These particles form the coma, a diffuse cloud surrounding the nucleus, and two tails start to extend in the direction opposite the Sun, one made of dust and the other of ions pushed by the solar wind. 3i Atlas is special because it combines two rare conditions. First, it is a visitor from outside, so it is not gravitationally bound to the Sun. Second, even as an outsider, it can be described using the same language of celestial mechanics that we use for local comets. It also has a perihelion, and it was at that moment that its activity peaked. The heating revealed materials preserved since its origin, exposing a composition that does not have to match that of comets formed here, since the chemistry of the cradle where it was born may have been very different from ours. The numbers help set the scene. Closest approach to the sun occurred on October 29th, 2025. On that day, 3i Atlas passed at about 1.4 astronomical units, around 210 million kilometers. Even before reaching that point, it was already moving at impressive speeds, exceeding 68 kilometers per second, roughly 245,000 kilometers per hour. This speed is a direct consequence of its open trajectory. While ordinary comets remain bound to the sun on closed orbits, a hyperbolic object approaches, is accelerated by gravity, and continues on its way outward without being captured. After perihelion, the script changes tone. As the comet moves away from the heat source, sublimation subsides, the coma becomes more subdued, and the tails lose length. At the same time, the geometry between the comet's orbit and Earth's can offer us an interesting observation window. That is exactly what is happening now. The forecast is that the closest approach to our planet will occur on December 19th, 2025. The estimated separation is approximately 1.8 astronomical units, around 270 million kilometers, practically twice the average distance between Earth and the Sun. This distance deserves a careful read. On interplanetary scales, it is relatively close. For unaided human eyes, it is far too distant. Do not expect a spectacle visible to the naked eye, not even with ordinary binoculars. The value of this passage lies less in the show and more in the science. For amateur telescopes with good aperture, and especially for professional observatories, the moment is excellent. The relative proximity improves the signal-to-noise ratio and allows more precise records of the brightness, the shape of the coma, the extent of the tails, and subtle variations over consecutive days. For observers across the United States, two factors should guide your planning. The first is solar elongation, the apparent separation between the comet and the sun in the sky. The larger the elongation, the easier it is to image without twilight glare. The second is the expected magnitude, which indicates how bright the comet should appear. Current estimates make it clear that 3i Atlas will not be visible to the naked eye. Even so, sensitive cameras paired with telescopes will be able to track its motion and enable very useful photometric and spectroscopic measurements. Why does each measurement matter if the general public will not see a luminous streak in the sky? Because interstellar visitors are rare, and each each data point collected now becomes a reference for the next one that comes along. Astrometry refines position and motion in the sky. Photometry quantifies how brightness evolves. And spectroscopy reveals composition through characteristic lines and bands. With this trio, we can compare 3i Atlas with long-period comets from our solar system and ask what is universal in comet physics and what is a signature of the environment where they formed. There is also the dynamical aspect. 
Since 3i Atlas is not bound to the Sun, it makes no sense to speak of aphelion, which would be the farthest point of a closed orbit. Its trajectory is open, and its fate is to return to interstellar space. It will continue alone for millions, perhaps billions of years, until it encounters another passing star. Even so, during the brief period in which it crosses the solar system, it obeys the same laws of conservation of energy and momentum that govern any other body. The behavior is familiar, although the origin is exotic, and that in itself is fascinating. What we know so far reinforces this view. Recent observations confirm that the comet is on a hyperbolic outbound path, with no signs of artificial anomalies. What appears are chemical nuances that diverge from the pattern of local comets, something entirely plausible for an object that formed under different conditions. Different proportions of volatiles, dust grains with distinct distributions, and specific responses to the solar wind are clues to a formation history that is not ours. Instead of surprise, we have a rare opportunity to measure this diversity with instruments we already master. Scientifically, the period around December 19th is precious. Even with the comet's activity declining after perihelion, the relative proximity to Earth raises the quality of the signals captured. Coordinated observations at multiple wavelengths can map the morphology of the coma, assess the contribution of the dust tail and the ion tail, and compare the system's day-to-day -day evolution. By stacking successive nights, Researchers improve the signal-to-noise ratio and extract parameters that would be impossible during a less favorable passage. It is natural to ask whether any risk is associated with this approach. The answer is no. The distance of about 1.8 astronomical units is comfortable. There is no chance of impact, nor of dynamical effects relevant to Earth. What we have is a favorable geometric coincidence that allows us to take a better look at a rare object before it disappears into darkness. For that reason, the recommendation for astrophotographers is to take advantage of times with good elongation, far from solar glare, use stacked exposures, and record several consecutive nights. Each well-made sequence becomes a building block in constructing the final portrait. In summary, here is the picture. 3i Atlas has already passed perihelion on October 29, 2025, at about 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun. Before that, it reached speeds over 68 kilometers per second, which is roughly 245,000 kilometers per hour. It is now moving away and should make its closest approach to Earth on December 19, 2025, at around 1.8 astronomical units, about 270 million kilometers. We will not have a flashy glow in the sky, nor any danger whatsoever. We will have valuable data to compare with our comets, and with luck, better answers about how chemistry and physics vary from one stellar system to another. If you enjoy content that breaks down what is happening up there, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This support helps the video reach more people and encourages us to keep bringing clear, straightforward, and engaging explanations about space. Thank you and see you next time.